Luis Sandoval, FightHack.com, here with Tony Brady. First of all, mate, I gotta ask you about this fight tonight, man. What did you think? There was three violent rounds. What was your thought of the fight? It was an exciting fight, and uh, one man was prepared, another man apparently wasn't. You as a strength conditioner, could you tell that Mike wasn't in shape or didn't train or any of that? Well, you know, I heard about the distractions, and I even heard that during the fighters meeting, you know, his focus was, was very obvious. You know, Brandon Rios was obviously focused, mm -hmm. whereas Alvarado didn't appear to be. So, you know, I was hearing things from the fighters meeting that it looked like it could go that way, but you know, they still have to get in the ring improvement. So. You know, as, you know, in boxing, who would you think Brandon would be good in against now? Who would you want to see him fight? You know, Brandon's a pretty exciting fighter no matter who he faces. Uh, I think the bangers work the best for him. You know, the Provodnikovs, the Matisse's, guys like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if a, a super fast fighter would be ideal for him. You know, but Brandon can make a great fight with a lot of guys out there. So. Let's move on to you, man. I know you work with a lot of big guys. One of them is Andre Ward, who's finally scheduled to be back in the ring, man. How excited are you guys to finally get ready to see him back in? It's exciting because, you know, somebody who loves the sport as much as he does, you hate to see him uh, you know, on the shelf like that. Yeah. But, you know, he had things to deal with, and those are past now, and he's got a great team behind him. And uh, I'm excited to see what Rock Nation brings to boxing. The last question. Andre Ward, even though he's been out for a year, still considered a number two pound for pound fighter. What, can we ex what, do you, what do you expect from him this year? And everybody talks about him and Golovkin. What, are, what is your thought on that? And I think he's going to pick up where he left off. I think he, he's so fundamentally sound. He does so many different things. He's always adding something, another a new wrinkle to his, his style. So, you know, anybody he faces is going to have their hands full. And, uh, you know, he hasn't lost a step. So, bring on the best. Last question. How important is strength and conditioning and proper things that you do with these fighters do would more fighters benefit from you know working with somebody like you you know I think that having a f complete program is huge you know especially guys who have to cut weight yeah. and uh, you know when you're competing against you know science and just guys who are just doing so much these days you know we're building better athletes you can see it in every sport out there you know uh, look at look at the basketball players who are jumping higher and you know, like guys like LeBron James and Russell Westbrook, and yeah, it, it, it's just amazing. Uh, Derrick Rose, you know, yeah. these guys are just so athletic now. These football players catching these unbelievable passes are just so athletic. The speed, you know, the, so sports science has come a long way, and you know, it's better to be a part of it than you know, still be clinging to the the old school. You know, some guys just are so robust, and you know, they can make the most of that, but. Competitive edge, I think uh, sports science can take you a long way. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for the interview, man. I'll probably be seeing you pretty soon, and thanks, man. All right, anytime.